Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechRacket.info and before we show today's video I want to show you just this um, I got the T3485M because a lot of people on the forum seem to be very happy with this tank now so far yeah, it's not been kind to me and th this game did not help um, I'm not here to name and shame but this bleep the Tog sat in the enemy base the entire freaking game and just raked up kills and won the game. It's so frustrating when people with such, you know, moronic um, tactics actually win the game. It's just so frustrating. But anyways, yeah, um, I think I did pretty well. I mean, considering what my team did and what I did, yeah, add like the first four of them up or something and you get close to what I did. <sighs> And they even had a team killer, and we still couldn't win. It's pretty fucking pathetic. But yeah, this dude just sat in base the entire game. It's just pathetic. But, you know, it won them the game. Woohoo. Freaking bullshit. Um, gun, not very accurate at all. Uh, the accuracy, the aim time, the penetration, it's all pretty bad. Um, I'm not going to do a full review of this tank, but... I mean, 2.5 second aim time, 0.42 accuracy, and 128... 126 penetration. Ah, I severely hope they're gonna buff this thing at some point because this is pretty bad. I mean, it has one good feature that I'll show you in a second, but the gun is pretty damn bad. And it does see tier 8 games. So be warned if you get this tank, it is a good crew trainer, but it's not a great tank. Keep that in mind, please. Just be warned. So it took four hits, four from penetrated, two did not. It does have a Decent frontal armor, as you can see it's 75 hull armor, but let's take a quick look here. It's pretty damn sloped, as you can see. So it has pretty decent frontal hull armor. Actually, oh, okay. Um, from a frontal view, I couldn't see the machine guns. Like, hey, did they remove the machine gun from it? But it's there. Um, yeah, so we drove quite a bit. It's not the fastest tank on the planet either. The engine seems to be a bit underwhelming. The top speed. Flat out, you're not going to achieve that too often, but you do get up to 45 to 50-ish, depending on the terrain. But, yeah, uh, engine is a little bit underwhelming for the weight. It's a pretty heavy tank. Now, this is where things get interesting. I got Courageous Resistance, so I did get some extra money from that. I made 49k in this game, which isn't bad. It's not a massive credit earner, though. And I did fire some premium shells, so, but yeah, the... Uh, Money wasn't too great. Um, premium shells have, let's actually look at the guns, easier to see, 167 average pen, which is much, much better. And that is just, you know, enough. But 126, uh, that's pretty damn poor. But the thing where this tank shines is this bonus for premium vehicle tier. And as you can see, that's quite a bit. Now, from a previous battle I did, I calculated that it was about 30% extra experience that you got. So I just got 1900 experience, that's not doubled, that's on a loss, with crazy resistance, but still, 1900 experience for one game. Yeah. <laughs> so I got, of course, the premium bonus, which is 600 versus 900. Then I got the crazy resistance, 300 plus, or from 300 to 500. And then I got this bonus as well, and as you can see here, um, oh, that's why it's doubled. Okay, I see now. So, yeah, 633, divide by 3, you roughly get 298-ish. Um, so it's 300 times 3, no. Oh, wait, this is included. Now I see. Okay, okay, it makes sense. It's these two numbers added, and then 30%. So you have 1,400 experience. 400 would be about a third of that. 3 times 4 is 12, plus this would make about 13. So yeah, it's 30% bonus experience. And as you can see, for a crew trainer, that's pretty damn nice. This crew member here wasn't even at 100% yet, or was just barely at 100%. I've played 9 games in this thing, and I'm up to 42% of my skill. So yeah, this thing makes it a good crew trainer, even though the tank itself is pretty bad. But even when you don't do too much, you pretty easily, on a loss, get 600 experience, at least. I mean, without premium. Let's see if I have a different game here that I can show you. My previous was pretty... Uh, that one. Yeah. So, as you can see, it did 800 damage, got 400 base experience. But even with just 
non-premium, that would have been 530 experience on a pretty bad loss. And I didn't do too, too, great, too great. Wow, I can't talk. Need more coffee. Fire 20, hit 14, pen 6. This is a tier 8 game, so yeah. But, I mean, with premium, I still managed to walk away with almost 800 experience. And I think that's the power of this thing. It's not a great tank by any stretch of the imagination. But if you get a bit of a good matchup or you do a bit of damage, you do get that 30% extra experience, which does compensate for quite a bit. So your games might not be too great in this thing. And I'm sure you can have great games in it. But overall, I'm going to say that this is not a good tank to get. Um, unless you need a Russian crew trainer, and I kind of really did for my mediums. It's not a horrible tank. It's not like it's completely unfunctional, but the aim time is long, and the accuracy is not great. Um, as you can see here, I've, you know, tried to get my accuracy up, and I still need to get some more skills, hopefully, eventually, to help that out a bit. But, yeah, I do hope they're going to buff this thing, because right now it's pretty damn bad, and I would say underpowered, at the very least. It should get um, preferential matchmaking. But anyways, that was more than enough about this tank. So if you want to get it, keep in mind that the gun is not great. The speed is not great. The frontal armor can bounce the occasional shot. It's not too bad. Um, it definitely can save your life, but don't depend on it. But it's that bonus experience, because my T-34, for instance, the tier 8 premium, only gets a 10% bonus. So I don't know if this is special for this particular vehicle to get 30%, but, I mean, as you can see, getting 400 experience extra is quite a bit. Take a quick look at my stats here for this tank. As you can see, I'm not doing that great. Nine games, 44% win rates, um, hit 65%, not that great. Damage ratio, eh, not too bad. Destruction, not too bad. Armor use, not too bad, really. I mean, for a medium tank, that's not too bad. And 644 average experience. That's not too shabby for a tier 6, let's be honest. I mean, let's sort this. I mean, if we look at that one, I mean, obviously, I'm doing much better now on victory ratio wise but yeah it's not bad compared to that one that one that one I mean it, yeah it's quite favorable to have that extra for uh, 30 percent so yeah um, I spot one vehicle and destroy one on average yay maximum experience 1491 that's what we just did and 2400 damage is that game I just showed you so yeah um, it's not a great tank but that 30 percent does sort of make up for it so if you want to get this tank, that's, you know, just a little bit of info for you, what you need to know about it. And, um, I would like you guys to know that you guys made this possible. I bought this tank, uh, the package, because it was a 30-day premium, 900 gold, and this tank. Um, bought this from the proceeds from YouTube. So, thank you guys. <laughs> Indirectly, I got this from you guys, so, yeah, thanks for that. Um, I think it's, you know... I might as well get this thing just so I can show you guys what it's like and if it's any good to get before it goes out of the shop again and we don't know when it comes back. So hopefully this will give you some idea of what this tank is capable of. It's not a great tank, but the experience you can get in it is pretty decent. Anyways, let's head over to our daily dose of subscriber replay. And here we are with the actual replay of today and yep it's that weird ass tank that has a face I mean look at it, it has two eyes and a very long nose <laughs> we have Venom Ghost in his BTSV the premium tier 3 yeah tier 3 I don't even know what to call this thing um I technically it's a light tank but yeah it has a speed of one with the sloping, it has the armor of a little heavy tank at this tier. And it has the gun of a TD. Um, sort of. Like, the gun for its tier is really, really good. The armor, because of the sloping, is really good. It has a lot of survivability. The speed is just lightning quick. This thing can blaze around the battlefield with insane speeds. So, it has pretty much everything going for it. It's pretty ridiculous. But then again, this thing is expensive as all hell. Um, think like 100 bucks in a tick. And yeah, I would use auto aim on this as well. Just so we can zoom around and not focus on shooting. Got the kill there. Ooh, artillery behind you. Artillery! Get him! Get him! Get him! Aww. Whoa! Wheelie! Well, tracky. <laughs> I can't really call it a wheelie on the tank, but can you? Depression. Oh, missing depression. Aw, oh, didn't get that kill. Darn. Come on, can we get that one? 
Already pre-aiming. Ah, oh, didn't get that one. Darn it. Missed opportunities. TK. 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 Team kill. <laughs> Fire another shot. Don't know if that one hit or not. But yeah, this thing is not quite overpowered because it does have armor you can actually pen. Just not very easily. And you need to fire at it at the right angles. Nope, 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 nope. Is he gonna reload before we can... Nope, and we finish him off. Hey, kill number four. So yeah, a couple of people have gotten this tank. I, for one, did not want to spend the money on it. It seems like a load of fun, but I think I have enough low tier right I'm pretty sure this thing is Russian, right? Classified right? Yeah, actually, the crew is talking Russian. Um, stupid question. So yeah, I have enough low tier Russians. I have my T T127. I have my Tetrarch. I think I have enough low tier Russians. T2 medium there. What seem to know what he's doing? Oh, there we go. Finish him off. There's a TK. TK. I still know what to call that thing. That we didn't finish off. Really. Finish him off now. Yes, we can. Good. That's the thing about this tank. You just zip across the battlefield and you just annihilate. And that's really how this thing will uh, run and work. And whoa, missing a lot of shells there. Wow, come on. Point blank in the face. Can we hit him then? That's the question. Finish him off. Shot in the ass. Probably a teammate by the looks of it. There is still one enemy unaccounted for. But... Oh. Did the artillery just ram that thing to death? Yeah, he did. Uh, you might want to manually aim these shots. There you go. I about to say, upper structure is weak, lower structure is actually quite tough. Number 9. Come on. Can we get a pulse? Oh no, wait, pulse medal doesn't work at this level. Ha! Nope, we cannot get a pulse medal. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think he's in the middle, because he got shot from the middle. He got shot in his ass earlier. It has to be in the middle somewhere ish. Down below at uh, the 4 line, maybe? Like F4? This team should have let him up then. Where is he? What is it? It is a medium 2. Hmm. Where, oh where? Pretty sure he gets shot in his ass, right? Oh, nope, there he is. Sitting in the absolute back, doing absolutely nothing. And he's just gonna face hug him and bounce a shot and finish him off with a 10th kill. Nice. Let's take a look at the stats. So, here we are with the stats. Um, and before we look at the stats, um, I'm going to give you guys a small update on the um, WZ111 event. I have now finished one nation and I'm halfway into the second nation that I'm hopefully going to finish tonight or maybe tomorrow. So, yeah, two nations in. It's not going very quickly. I'm getting a lot of shit games. I'm also getting a lot of good games again, finally. Um, even my shit games, like, this event makes you think kind of weird about games. Um, if I only get one kill a game, then it's a shit game. Even though I did, you know, 3k damage, if I only get one kill, that's the only thing I care about. The damage, I'm gonna have the damage done every nation a lot sooner than the kill. So, yeah, what I normally consider a good game, I now consider a shit game because, you know, I didn't get the kills I needed. But, yeah, um... It's going okay so far, I guess. Had a really bad day yesterday, like, unbelievably bad. It took me, like, an hour just to get 10 kills. It was ridiculous. At some point, I think I had a kill-to-game ratio of half, so only half a kill a game. It was pretty brutal. But anyways, um, it's not about me, but just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on my um, WZ111. I still don't know if I'm going to finish this event, if I can do it in time. I don't know how much time I'm going to have, you know, from January and up and stuff, so, I don't know. Um, I'm going to try, I'm trying to do about four days per nation, um, that should give me enough time. And I might just buy out, like, Japan or China, I'm not sure yet, we'll have to see. Anyways, again, not about me, it's about Venom Ghost. And, let's see what we got, we got an Ace Tanker, we got a Fire for Effect, we got an Arsonist? Who do we let on fire? I have no idea who we burned down. I don't think we can actually see that. No, I don't think it shows. Hmm. I don't know. We, apparently we burnt somebody down. We got Bruiser and, unsurprisingly, a top gun. Walked away with 1155 experience. Very nice. 10 kills, of course. 
900 damage done, which is pretty close to adding the entire team up. Well, not quite, but 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, yeah, the first three people-ish. Yeah, and that's the thing about this tank. It's just such a zippy, zippy, zoom, zoom, kill everything, haha, <laughs> and you're on the other side of the map and everybody else is dead kind of tank. It's, uh, in its own respect, it's pretty awesome, Um, but, you know, it's... Tier 3, 2, what is it? Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's kind of seal clubbing, but it's not OP. It's not like a Panzer 2J. You know, it, it definitely can be killed. It's just fast as all hell. <laughs> Let's see, before 39 shots hit 27. Yeah, firing on the move is not great on this thing. I don't know how uh, good Venom Ghost's uh, crew is, but firing on the move is pretty damn god-awful on this thing. You might want to get some vents on there to help out a little bit with that if you don't have it already. Um, no, you can't remount anything else that would help with that tier. No, just vents, but I'm sure he has vents on there. I guess um, smooth ride would help if you don't have that on your crew, but yeah. Anyways, fired 39, hit 27, pen 25, so pretty much everything he fired penned. He did fire some premium rounds, and that's going to not really bite him in the ass, but definitely decrease the amount of profit he made. Did 963 damage, 4 hits received, 2 of them penetrated, 2 did not. 90 damage blocked by armor, cost a little bit of damage to allies, and we'll get back to that in a second here. Spotted 7, destroyed four, uh, destroyed 10, damage 10, 64 spawning damage. Now, this is where things get freaking hilarious. Fine cost for damage to allies, 1 credit, but because he's running a premium account, it costs, you know, 50% extra. One and a half credits. <laughs> okay, I want to see that half credit added to the person who he damaged the account. I want to see that half credit. That has to be paid. <laughs> what the hell? One and a half? I don't know if that's just a glitch from WT replays or... <laughs> One and a half credits. Okay, sure. <laughs> But he also got 30 credits of compensation for being hit by allies. What? Oh man, what a round. Shit. Oh man. Uh, repair bill is pretty damn cheap. Ammo, yeah, pretty expensive. And I have to... S um, oh wait, no. It's consumable. He fixed something. I didn't actually see that. Not sure what he fixed, but I guess we're not on sale and they cost a full 5k. So yeah, it kind of, you know, crapped out his... Uh, profit here. Without the premium ammo it would have probably been about 9k more profit, but still, eh, 13k for J3. It's not bad. It's not horrible, but it's not, you know, it's not horrible. It's not great, but you know, it's not bad. Experience on the other hand was pretty damn good with 2700 experience in total with a premium account. I don't think this was a double, right? Looks like it, though. Huh. That's weird. Um... 1100, 1100, 1727. Not sure if this is a bug or if there was some sort of event going on or might be the premium bonus, but why is it not sure? I have no idea. Something is screwed up. I don't know exactly what he got for experience. I, I'm gonna say the 1155. That was the base experience. Um, so he got at least that. Let's just stick to that. Anyways, I've been renting on way too long. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, I've uploaded a video today. It's only a minute 20 long. You gotta watch it. It's an epic artillery kill, if I say so myself. And I think even the enemy artillery um, didn't mind getting killed like that. I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, it was a pretty epic kill. So check that out if you haven't already. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.